हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर सोहेल राणा दीन आई सी टी एंड आई टी एल ससी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इंजीनियरिंग आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस स्मॉल डेमो अबाउट द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ आई सी टी एंड आई टी एल हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू डिजिटल स्टूडियो फॉर रिकॉर्डिंग द ई कंटेंट This is Studio One, where we can record using interactive panel. We have a good setup using a sophisticated camera, flashlights, and another softwares used for the animation. Like we can see the NPTEL and SWAM courses, where government is promoting the e-content learning. The reason behind that is that the present generation of student is more digital. Their minds are towards digital gadgets. we have to use new methods for explaining them the concept in the combination of ict and itl we focus on the integration of innovative teaching learning methods with the ict tools as we know that there are so many ict tools students can understand the concept in better way when we include some kind of innovation or animation animations are a very basic need for the present generation students we can make concept very easy for them using animations so i welcome you all to the digital studio where we have to complete our first project taken from jntuk and apshe we have to record 42 courses for the students of andhra pradesh by using our e content many students will be benefited in their career and life this is a lifetime opportunity for us to present our knowledge and share our knowledge for lifetime with the students of the state so once again i welcome you all and invite you all for the formation of a good ict and itl in the campus i welcome you all to the digital studio 1 this is room 1 where we can record the sessions by using laptop and webcam before proceeding i would like to define the ict and itl in simple language ICT is information communication and technology. It is a very broad concept. What we are concerned here is the methods and the tools which are useful for improving the teaching and learning methods for better understanding of concepts among the students. There may be use of laptop, Zoom meeting or Google meeting or any other related software which is useful in the teaching methodology. comes under the ICT tools we want to integrate these tools with innovative teaching learning methodologies there are so many teaching learning methodologies we can use we have to use these methodologies to reach out the students only chalk and talk is not enough for the new generation students now the psychology of students is changing and most of us have observed the psychology of student is completely changed after the lockdown there may be several reasons with this changing psychology of the students we should also change the teaching methods we have to put some extra to the expectations of the students another challenge in this particular task is that after 2 to 2 and 1/2 years online session they are fed up they don't want the routine zoom classes they don't want classes for the formality they want something innovative there are various categories of the students we have to teach according to the style the particular student is more comfortable student may be surface learner student may be kinesthetic learner student may be visual learner someone may trigger with the music to learn someone may act and learn of course we cannot use all the methods for each and every student but our duty as a teacher is to classify these students into different categories another problem associated with innovative teaching learning method is that how to evaluate them we can use different methodologies to teach the students we can use different acts some additional activities we can make them do some skit we can have different methodologies but how to evaluate on the basis of this because for evaluation we have to produce some proof that is one more reason why teachers are reluctant to go with the evaluation system using innovative teaching learning 
by using ICT methods, we can create the proof of our activities, what students are participating in actual life. If you observe nowadays SWAM and NPTEL portals or MOOCs or even Coursera, they are running so many online courses. The reason behind it that the, the generation is changing. There is a value for e-content. If you talk about the achievement of this section, JNTUK and APSHE has given us 42 full courses as e-content. These courses will be referred by the entire state students. Entire Andhra Pradesh students will be benefited by our videos. We must produce some good quality videos to satisfy the coming generations that there is a need and necessity of the integration of ICT tools with the integration of innovative teaching learning methods. Only e-content is not the application of ICT. We have ICT applications in the day-to-day -day innovative teaching learning methodologies. We have to create the proof. We have to keep the proof in the form of videos. If students are participating in some skit or if they are involved in quality circles, we have to have some sort of proof to evaluate them. We need Google Forms, we need online quizzes, we need various methods. For the integration of these innovative teaching learning methods, we support the usage of modern ICT tools. First, we'll join in the creation of e-content. I welcome all the course course teachers to come up and record their sessions as soon as possible. Anyone who is interested in developing e-content or any ICT integrated innovative teaching learning method, we are always 